Hello everyone, today we are going to see the difference between male and female sacral bone. In general, male bone muscular marking ridges prominences will be more prominent as compared to female bone. Let's start with the general appearance of the sacrum. Male one is narrow, longer as compared to female being broad and short. Additionally, if we see, male is larger, heavier and rough, rough because the muscular markings are more prominent and female is smaller and lighter and smooth, smooth because the muscular marking is less prominent. Inner curvature of male is uniformly curved anteriorly as you can see, but of the female, it is abruptly curved at the third sacral vertebra, so one, two and three, and the third sacral vertebra, it is abruptly curved. You can see clearly from the side, it is abruptly curved from the third sacral vertebra as compared to male being uniformly curved. I hope you are able to see. Let me show you from the side so it become more clear. The sacral promontory is more prominent in male as compared to female. In female it is less prominent. I hope you are able to see this is the promontory. This is the promontory and let me show you both at once so you are able to compare both. You can see it is more prominent in male and it is less prominent in female. Body of first sacral vertebra is larger in male as compared to female. In female it is smaller as you can see. And also if we see breadth of first sacral vertebra that is S1 is larger than the breadth of the ala in male but it is smaller in female. In female, the breadth of the first sacral vertebra is smaller than the one side ala. Sacroiliac articulation of male extend up to the third segment, one, two, and three. And you can see it is extending up to the third segment. But of female, it is extending up to two and a half segment, one, two, and a half. And you can see it is extending up to only two and a half segment. And also sacroiliac joint surface of male is larger, less sharply angulated. But of female, it is smaller, L-shaped and elevated anteriorly. Let's talk about two indices from sacrum. First is the sacral index, that is the transverse diameter of base of sacrum divided by the anterior length of sacrum into 100. It is less than 114 or lower in male and more than 114 or higher in female. As male sacrum is narrower and longer, so transverse diameter of base of sacrum is lesser and anterior length is more than female, leading to numerator lesser and denominator more than female, hence this index is lower in male. But as female sacrum is broader and shorter than male sacrum, so transverse diameter of base of sacrum is more and anterior length is less, leading to numerator more and denominator less, hence this index is higher in female. Second is corporobasal index. That is breadth of body of first sacral vertebra, that is the corpus width divided by breadth of base of sacrum, that is the basal width, into 100. It is more than 42 in male and less than 42 in female. As S1 breadth is more in male than in female and being narrower than female, base width is smaller, leading to numerator more and denominator less than female, hence this index is higher in male. While in female, as you see, S1 breadth is smaller than male and being broader than male, base width is more, leading to numerator less and denominator more. Hence, this index is lower in female. 